Good morning. It is the holiday season, and I have several cords at a local holiday house. And it's very often for items to get dropped while people are handling them and looking at them and shopping. So yesterday I got a call that one of my cords had been dropped and that the top of it was like smashed into smithereens or, or something like that. It brought it home and the woman who dropped it wants to purchase it as soon as I fix it. I guess she dropped it and it went like this. These stems can break. So here's what I'm going to do and I took inspiration from what I had already done. I've got some gold wrapping here. These come in all sort of fun colors. I'll leave links below. Stems of gourds do break. People do like to see the natural part of the stem. So what I'm going to need to do is this part, I, I just wanted it to look finished. And so that's why there's a little bit of wrapping there. But what I can also do is do a wrapping in this area that got absolutely butchered on the wood floors. I could just do a wrap in that section. It will take a lot of wire, so I might use the thicker. Okay, this whole top is coming off. This is going to be a total reboot. To make sure that I have a stable dart here, I am going to take a toothpick and I'm going to sink it down in here and sink it to the other part and make sure this whole area is completely stable before I get started. And I'm not sure if I'm going to need to drill. No, it feels like I'll be able to sink it right down in there. This end, it's going to be pretty easy also. So I'm going to cut this toothpick on a bit of an angle. These are so great for all these little projects like this where you need to attach something. You can use these toothpicks to make a peg like an implant like I showed you in the other video. So kind of like an implant where someone's teeth are gone and they get new teeth that have a post and a stud. All right, that's very stable and this is about to be very stable. So I've got that stub sticking up that's going to give me some strength. I wound the whole thing and then I just didn't like the looks of it. So I unwound it and I am starting over. This looks kind of messy and not very round. I will tell you a trick when you're dealing with wire. When you want to make a really nice, you wind your wire around something that's already set and that will give you a form, a shape to follow. All right, so we've got the stub in there. This wire is a little bit crinkly. So I'm not sure about using it. I think I'm going to set it aside and start over. And the wire up here is a lot smaller scale and it's not very well affixed. So I'm going to slide it off. We're just going to start everything from scratch. <laughs> not what I planned, but and I can always just drill a hole. I just want to really get the wire in there so that it is really stable. All right, round two. <laughs> Who knew a repair was going to take so long? Okay, my wire is in there. It's really stable. I'm starting toward the bottom, and I am really pulling to try and get a tight. I want a very, very tight, very smooth look. This is not a messy looking gourd at all. So I want to be sure that this just looks really, really smooth and really consistent. And now that I have a good peg in there, I think I will be able to do that. I wonder if I need a Lazy Susan for spinning things around. So just a nice consistent wrap. In case it shows through, I'm going to touch up some more of this because a little bit more is exposed. And this blue, strangely, is close enough to the color that it's going to make it look the same. Wow, blends in really well. And I have a couple strings here from the glue gun. Remember, a good tip for that is just grab your heat gun, hit it for a second or two, and that will get rid of those they will just disappear and that was how quick it took to just giving a little squeeze to make sure everything right and to kind of help the level settle down there's an area that didn't really get gotten a little bit of a holiday i can't believe this i'm going around a second time to try and make sure that all those little gaps are filled i don't know if the gaps matter but to me it just seems like there shouldn't be gaps I want it to be nice and smooth. I don't want this to look clumsy. I want it to look very nice. This section looks a little bit fatter, so I'm pulling it. I want to make sure the end of this wire is really secure. I actually scratched the cord with my tool, and the marker surprisingly has the purplish hue. The rest has. It looks like a little pigtail. I think I'm going to need to put the little accent back 
toward the end just because that looks naked to me with the end sticking out with no trim on it. Well, so here's the original amount of wire that I had used and now I've got another like three feet on it. And this wire is so thin it doesn't undo very well. It gets kinks in it. I'm trying to pull the kink out. Okay, I got that one out and I got that kink out. All right, I'll definitely need some glue to hold this little tiny wire down. So there is our repair. Thanks for watching. I will link these nifty little boxes that are so cool and I'll also link some metal supplies because having a good variety of items like this really helped me out in making this repair quickly and fairly efficiently. Thank you very much for watching. Happy gording. I hope you've got a good project going. There it is. Ready to go back to the holiday house. Round two. Thanks for watching.